What's up, friends of the good boot? This is Money, and welcome to this very awkward hangar right here. Take a look at this. Why is it so weird on a Battle Rack account? The answer is it was a viewer request by Ignar Joke right here. You see his ID, and he had a video idea. He said I should try and copy a player's exact hangar and try and do the best best I can with it and that's what I did right here this is his hanger uh, and um, I in the future I may use uh, patrons or supporters like uh, channel members as examples so this is something I could do with a channel membership now that was his um, his uh, hanger right here and this is the one that I build you see the exact same robots and weapons when my weapons were higher leveled or my robots then I just added a level one weapon instead to compensate okay also pilot skills I, I usually went a little lower on those if I had the uh, way so I try to max uh, to basically balance the, the hangar to its exact same power as if I could okay so let's go and test this uh, this very special hangar from Ignar Juk right here thank you for your contribution during the last live stream by the way and uh, again this is something I might do a little bit more often maybe once a month or so with uh, a, vi a hangar that is from uh, from a channel member supporter right this could be something I could do right there so here I'm getting amazing support I was getting attacked by a laser beam uh, but cannibal here uh, activated his uh, Hades shield and I thanked him for it because he uh, saved me a lot of damage so uh, let's go and uh, attack right this is one of um, Ignar jokes phantoms like the one phantom he has uh, he's running also I use the same active modules too so he's got act uh, the uh, lockdown module on it the uh, lockdown ammo which I just used against the uh, nightingale but um, unfortunately it, it began to fly instantly and uh, activate stealth and now we are in a bit of a problem situation here uh, cannibal and I were both in uh, a pretty bad spot here's the longest phase shift I've ever seen in my life right here from this guy and then I'm on him, but uh, yeah, no chance, man. There's, they're coming from every angle. It's insane. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna die right here, but it's okay because we are gonna jump into the next setup instead. And there's gonna be a lot of things. We have a Leo coming up with Aphid and Thermite. You've seen it in the intro. We have a Cerberus with Glory and Corona. Um, and uh, we, we have a lot of different fun things coming here. Boom, look at this, Leo. Leo just hit the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the scorpion in short range and now I'm just trying to do my best uh, the best I can with this very very awkward Leo setup here a fit a fit a fit and Thermite right boom so I did hit I did hit him and boosh there he goes gotten the scorpion out of the way with this Leo and uh, Tell me by the way guys what you think about this particular video idea right from time to time uh, it is a lot of work to copy the hangar exactly and record gameplay with it so I may not be doing this way too often but maybe once a month or so as a special video series uh, tell me what you think okay I really like the idea when I when I read it did you see that damage chunk that was the Leo that was me that was me hitting in there like they, like a boss right there so let's go Jack Kuriteraki or whatever his name is I'm on you man once you are back being visible then there comes the thermite aphid combo boom not as much damage as I wanted to do but um, I think what it's missing here is maybe overdrive right overdrive would allow this uh, this thing to do more damage uh, when when it's at low health boom yeah this guy even took a little bit of a beating here the the fan the scorpion I'm glad he didn't jump on me because I would be absolutely defenseless against this scorpion right there I'm expecting him to teleport back and there it is he teleported back and I activated his last stand now um, and maybe with the next one we can try and t take him down or so let's see he's being attacked by somebody else so maybe it works bop 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 sending everything we've got and he is taking damage a lot of it and he's going down before he has another chance to teleport this is a bit of a different battle wreck account video huh things aren't fully maxed uh, even the pilot skills are often only level 30 or something and uh, yeah it's I don't know I'm just trying to make the best I can do with a bit of a Leo aphid uh, thermite I did a lot of damage here to the Aochun as he was landing um, with because this is the best moment to hit when somebody is stuck or somebody is landing and falling and I'm doing the exact same thing here in the game is absolutely screwing with me look before he leaves my range I sent the bombs after him he landed and look at this perfect hit boom you even saw the hit indicators nothing no damage the game simply took this damage away from me 
You see the bombs coming in from behind. He is ha His resistance is gone because he landed. You see the hit indicators on the crosshair. Zero damage coming in. Wow. Game, thank you so much. That would have been a really awesome hit against uh, the Hawk right there. Uh, boom, boom. Interesting to see that you can even hit the shell robot uh, on top of his head uh, and you bypass his shields. Did you see that? We just went right through his shield right there with the aphid and the thermite. Pretty interesting. I didn't know that was going to happen. So, what do we have here? Okay, there is something else in the distance. Ah, a hawk. And... Okay, okay, he's losing health. Uh, down to last stand. Tsang Tsang sending two aphids. That's going to be enough for him. Let's aim at the other guy instead. And... Okay, that was not a hit. But I knew that those two aphids were going to do the trick. Uh, what's that effect that I had on the top left? Oh, I think I was being healed by a Nodens, right? That was the effect that I was displayed up there. Uh, I'm trying to stay out of reach. The next matches are a little bit more intense. Right now, I'm just having fun with this Leo uh, with Aphids and Thermite, but the next matches are going to be more brawly and more intense. And also in this one here when we get killed. So let's do this, all right? You know the drill, guys. Uh, I think I'm getting killed very soon now. Ah, uh, boom. Ah, oh, dang it. He still had the resistance. And that's it. Boom. So, see the rest of the hangar? We have a Natasha with sparks and tridents. We have a Cerberus with glory and corona and uh, atomizer Ravana. And because my weapons were Mark II and his weapons were not, I decided to delete one of my uh, atomizers and equip a level 1 face uh, uh, Punisher instead. So Ignar Juk was running 3 times Atomizer, but not fully maxed. And I have 2 fully maxed Atomizers, and uh, instead of the third one, I went with a level 1 Punisher. Just so that the weapon slot is filled with something, uh, but without really dealing damage. Also the Titan, I, uh, I upgraded the weapons and pretty much everything to the same level. And uh, I wasn't sure what module levels he has, but that's the only thing I could not see from, from checking the hangar. So we're running really his hangar here, almost exactly, with the exception of some things being at a different level, lower level, uh, to compensate for a higher level, or something like this, right? Boom! Bop, 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 bam, bam, boom, boom. Awesome music, man. Oh, he's got reflector. Let's get in cover here real quick. Wait out the reflector and then delete him. Oh, wait a minute. Boom. Oh, man, I'm doing, going down here. Yeah. Bam, but I got him. I love this song, man. It's just too good. Too good for this planet. Uh-oh, I'm getting hit from the side. And that's it for me. Here, here you see the Ravana with the Punisher and the Atomizer in action. Alright, Dorian Crane, I'm coming for you, man. You don't get this beacon. I hope. I did damage. Oh, he is getting this beacon. Ah, oh, he got it. Oh my god, I'm getting attacked by so many people here. And the music is really fitting. <laughs> awesome. The best music ever seen in War Robots. I'm getting so destroyed right now. So many on me. So many people on me. Did you see that? I could not... Here, in this case, I know I, w I can't do anything against him with his old Natasha, but I can make him feel like beating up a little child as an adult by just turning around and showing the, that this Natasha is absolutely no threat to him. And he's like... He's still, he's still beating up that little that little Natasha, dude. He's, he's like a... I, uh, by by shaking his head, I made it made him feel like beating up a child <laughs> with a with a baseball bat or something. But he went for it. He didn't care. He went for it. He was he was he was cool with it, man. He just wanted to laser it down. Uh, but uh, the Natasha has his next in a, has, has its own little uh, show coming up in another match. Okay. 
trying to kill that guy. I'm the only left survivor in my team. So my team really wasn't able to win this against the enemies. There were like, there, five of them are still here. They were so much more powerful. And I would probably beat this leech now. I would probably beat him because I locked him down, but I have too many enemies coming from different sides. No chance, man. So, uh, yeah, let's see how we did. Uh, 3.1 million damage. That's pretty good for a hanger like that. Uh, with running the Leo w most of the time. Uh, but, um, yeah. They, uh, we had some two good, really powerful players, but they were out, out, out of the match already. So, next match, ladies and gents. It's, uh, Valley this time. We're again starting with the Phantom, because, uh, that allows me to quickly capture a couple of beacons. And therefore, maybe help my team, right? That's what I'm trying to do here. Trying to be as helpful as I can with what I'm be what I'm given and in this case what I'm given is a spark and pulsar phantom uh, with some okay resistance uh, decent firepower right it's not the worst you, you could you could do worse in terms of firepower it's okay and we can even lock somebody with a pulsar so yeah it's not a, not a bad setup at all um, it's a very interesting one with a lockdown ammo you can insta lock somebody and keep him out of a beacon range this guy's gonna recover his ability. Unfortunately, nobody, like, the Hawk didn't go for him. The Hawk, if he had lasered him down quickly, then he would have saved me a lot of effort here. The, the Hawk only would have needed one second laser beaming and he would have killed that thing uh, through his resistance. And he would have saved me so much trouble in the process. Oh, whoa, another Hawk is right next to me. Let's try and fool around with him, teleport behind him, waste as much time as possible. We did have the beacon, uh, but we were not able to keep it for a very long time, I guess, right? My team is probably going to lose that beacon, but it's okay. Uh, we are in the servos now, and uh-oh, there's a shell robot coming. Uh-oh, I'm going to try and stay away from that thing. I don't want to get blown up in this little servos with only 170,000 health, um, because his explosion would bypass... I think would go right through the um, through the shield here. And the thing is, there's going to be another shell coming in. So I won't be actually successful in uh, getting out of this. Okay, we have Quantum Radar on this Cerberus. And I'm trying to kill this guy real quick. But the thing is that my weapons just don't do fire that enough damage. I just can't deal enough damage here to to drop the, um, the Nightingale. However, the Cerberus is very good at corner shooting, so we're dropping the uh, the, the Typhon robot very quickly. Um, Cannibal is again with me. I just realized Cannibal is with me again in the next match too. That was awesome. I, I hadn't seen that while I was playing, but I'm now seeing it. And you see the, sh the, ho uh, the shell is coming from Honor. From the Honor clan, is there's another shell robot popping in. And uh, yeah, he's gonna be, he was gonna be dangerous to us because, yo, uh, he's just gonna bl explode right through our resistance. Here he is. He activated it, and now look how much damage I'm gonna take. And boom. Yep, that's it. But I broke through his shield. I broke through his physical shield in the front, so my team is gonna have an easier time with him now. And I purposely spawned the Titan with the Explo weapon now, because uh, that allows me to kill him instantly, right? I ignore all his shields right here, and I just blop him into, uh, like, boom, there he goes, okay? No chance for him. Uh, now we have a flying nightingale. There's an Arthur, I think, but I can splash around the corner and hit him pretty well. I'm healing up, and now I'm just uh, boom, boom, boom boy uh, destroying like that Arthur with the big boom rockets. I really love those big booms. They're really awesome, man. Thing is, the enemy has a lot of hawks, and I have to be very ca ca cautious of these hawks because they are really like my end, my end game. They are the end boss right there. If they attack me. Um, I only have a level 40 um, Titan or, or, or something. Uh, Ignar Juk is actually running a level 70 Titan, and I only have a level 40 Titan here. And see, this guy is now flying, and that's a problem. He started using his laser beam, trying to get in cover, but uh, yeah, I'm taking a lot of damage in the process, as you see here. Um, because my weapons, I think... Oh, oh, no, because I didn't know what modules he had on his Titan, that's why I went with a lower level Titan than he has. I could have leveled it up further, but I went with 30 levels lower because I expected that maybe my modules are more leveled than his. And so in order to try and compensate for that, I went with a, uh, you know, with a lower level Titan. And uh, I think it works, right? However, the thing is with this level 30-something Titan only here uh, that I think I have, 
I really like lose this robot so fast. As soon as a laser beam from a hawk connects to me, I'm basically immediately uh, destroyed or half is half HP gone. Now this guy, before he falls, let's get him. Boom! Nice, we got him as he was trying to get himself into a safe position. So Ignar Juk, it was a pleasure playing your hangar. Next time I'm going to choose somebody from my um, from my members. So uh, I'm gonna make a video or, or a post, uh, a members only post on the channel and um, and then people will be able to send in their Android IDs. I'll check them out and then I'll, I'll copy uh, the hangar and make a video with that. So let's see how, what the next one is gonna be. If you like this type of video too, right? That's kind of what it depends on too if you guys also enjoy this type of video content. Something different. Uh oh. We have uh, the honor dude here with his full... I think this may be a fully maxed... Um, in, uh, our, um, what's it called? Uh, Minos. A fully maxed Minos, I believe this might be. Because we're doing so little damage to the guy. It's insane. Uh, and I, I, I don't know why I deserve this, but he's like coming so for me right here. Uh, and I'm, I'm just trying to dodge his, his shotgun firepower as best as I can. Trying to stay further away from him. He's trying to capture our beacon, but somehow he's not successful with that yet. Now he's capturing it, okay. So now I can shoot him from a distance. My level 1 Punisher needs to reload. And uh, by the way, guys, if you like the content and you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing now. I would really appreciate to have you guys on board for the next videos as well. Also, giveaways, right, every month, so it really is useful to get notified when those come up. See how I can't do anything about this... Um, about this guy. I can take down this guy, no problem, but uh, this Titan, I just don't do any damage against Titans uh, when they're fully leveled, when they're when they're having this much resistance, right? And uh, yeah, so let's just go for him. Now we have everybody at, in one place, right? Uh, and he gets another reflector. That sucks. But we should be able to kill him even through the reflector at this point. He's got so low health. I all I needed my team to deal with him. I couldn't. I I would not have stood a chance against this powerful maxed Minos on my own. Uh, but I can hit this um, his next spawned robot, which is a hawk, and try and deal some damage to him. Uh, he's flying, but he can't hit me because as soon as he tries to, I just use the shield, and then boom, victory. <laughs> Vitali, uh, 2.4 million damage. This time my performance was really low, but I was trying to focus on the beacons at first with a with this um, phantom, right? And and then I was in the battle with the Minos Titan for so long that I couldn't really do any damage. Everybody else on my team who didn't fight the Minos Titan for such a long time was able to do much better damage because people don't have resistance as much. But those who are trying to bring down a Titan like this, you don't really do much damage against those. But now we're here on um, on a carrier, and we should be able to have a lot of fun here against the enemy uh, Ravana with um, with a Glory and Corona here. Uh, one thing I can do with those pretty well is corner shoot, and that's what I'm doing here. He notices that once he gets locked down. Lord Jurd from Germany, apparently. So greetings to you, my fellow German. Uh, and uh, bring him down. Pam. There we go. See, Ravana gets flattened by... Uh oh I have Quantum Radar, so I just need to activate it. And I suppressed him and locked him, right? Uh, locked and suppressed with the uh, Cerberus ability. And now I am very worried that there is somewhere a very dangerous... Um, a very dangerous Scorpion who's trying to jump on me. And uh, I'm trying to look for who it was. And I think it might be Bors. This is the guy. This is him. I'm looking at him, waiting for him to do activate Quantum Radar. A Quantum Radar here now, boop, instantly locked and suppressed on him. And uh, now dealing damage to him as well. Doing a lot of damage, by the way, because he was suppressed and I had my shield up, so he wasn't really able to do any damage to me at this point. He, that was just a loss run for him. A total loss run um, for that teleport jump, because I knew it was going to happen. And with Quantum Radar, uh, I was able to uh, bypass his, his stealth, so... But now he's jumping on me again. I'm ready for it yet again, but this time I'm getting hit from the flank and somebody deletes me very quickly. So how about we jump into the Natasha as I promised you and use that double uh, trident, Spark and Spyro. I'm not even joking, that's the setup. Ignar Juk, what were you thinking building that setup? 
I believe what you were thinking is that you needed to align all weapons for a 600 meter range, right? You didn't have another spark and you, uh, yeah, you, you didn't have any better weapon as a replacement for uh, the sniper 600 meters here. So you went with spirals because they also have 600 meters range, same as the trident and the spark. I believe that may, might be the thought process here. Uh, but at this point, literally everything is better than running the spirals. I mean, you could really go with a Punisher and you would do better than with that spiral. I would suggest putting that spiral away, uh, except this is a fun thing and you really want to run this as a troll setup and you want to just have this. Uh, but if you do want to make this a more powerful setup, then I would suggest trying to go for... Uh, oh man, I have to activate healing here. Um, uh, you have to go with something that offers more firepower. This guy here... All right, I was suppressed. That's why I couldn't finish up the, the Ao Chun. I was like wondering why can't I kill him? It was because I got suppressed by the Nightingale in front of me. All right, we have a Basilisk here in front of us who's very annoying. As soon as his style, uh, last stand went down, his shield pops up. Then his shield finally goes down and then his freaking face shift pops up. And then after the face shift, I guess his next shield would be very soon. But thankfully, we got him out of the way. And I think I'm able to take out some pretty important targets here with the Natasha. I may not be able to do the highest amount of damage in the match here, but I'm definitely picking up some important or picking some important kills and uh, and make myself useful here on the battlefield, right? And that's sometimes the best you can do. If you don't have the max setups with the most hawk stuff and powerful and everything, uh, most up-to-date weapons, you can still make yourself useful by focusing on targets to catch their attention. Look, I'm just currently absorbing the attention of this entire uh, Ao Ming up there. He's not doing anything other. And now I'm realizing that this type, this guy, the Arthur, I can bypass his Arthur shield with my tridents, right? So that's what I did. But now I realize that we we don't really have any anything else going on. We need to bring that Titan in if we want to succeed. So I brought the double Tsar and uh, Rapture Titan in here to deal as much damage as I can to this Titan. Uh, and uh, it, this must be a fully maxed Arthur because, man, I'm doing so little damage to him right there. But I hit the Hawk, and you saw the Hawk lost 50% of his HP. I, I hit the Hawk just once, and he lost 50% of his HP in that one hit. That was insane. Uh, and it's, 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 it's going to be good when Pixonic really implements the nerf for the Hawk, where the Hawk loses the resistance already as he starts to descend and only gains the resistance when he reaches his highest altitude point. That would be really cool. Uh, they are testing this on the test server and I believe this is a very, very good thing. By the way, I'm still sniping that Titan. I'm still on him. It's insane how much level this guy has. Uh, I, I have these Tsars are actually level 25, uh, so they should be doing good damage, but man, uh, this, this Arthur is so strong. I can barely do any damage to him. And then the lags also make it hard sometimes to hit. But I think we're finally getting him now. Bam, bam. Here we go. And there's another Titan up there. It's the Sniper from before. We hit him hard, but now I think we're going to go down. Boom, we hit him hard again. And that's it. We're not going to fire one more shot. We got taken out by too many Hawks. So, I think we can have a few minutes of fun still with the Leo. And bomb in there from above with the Aphid and Thermites. And that's it. Ladies and gents, tell me what you think about this special idea. Ignard Juk, I want to see your comment as well. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. And if you like, you could become a member. Um, and you get that special member's post, sometimes a special live stream. And also uh, the chance to co-op play with me, which is going to happen very soon, by the way. I just couldn't do it because of moving into a new place. But I have it. St uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dial in another play session. And also members will be able to maybe sometimes have their hangar be played by me in, in this kind of a video series. So thanks for watching. Have a good one. Money signing off. Bye-bye.